Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ, our Savior welcomes you to the seal Lord has given us together. Today we'll be meditating upon. His promises are the only true fulfilling promises. Before we start, let's see what Skipper talks about on this topic. Romans 4 verse 16. So the promise is received by faith. It is given as a free gift, and we are all certain to receive it, whether or not we live according to the law of Moses, if we have faith like Abraham's, for Abraham is the father of all who believe. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. As a technology person, my brain works only a certain way. When I was thinking about faith, one of crazy but logical connection popped in front of me. I stated comparing faith with the computer password. Just think for a moment. What is the function of a password when you are the only one who knows it? What exactly it does for you? It gives us access to a computer program. Similarly, faith enables us to walk in God's unmerited favor. Now, faith has nothing to do with it, what we do or what we can do. Faith is simply believing and declaring what God has done and is doing for us. When we believe that the favor of God is on us because of Christ's finished work, His promises of provision, healing, and restoration become sure to us. They are not just sure to the Jews, but also to all who believed in him. Just go back and look at the Old Testament character Ruth. She was a Gentile widow who put her faith in God's grace. She believed and declared that God's favor would lead her to the right field, which to glean where she would find favor in the owner's sight. Because she depended on God's unmerited favor, God not only placed her in wealthy Boaz's field, but also made her the part of genealogy of Jesus. Ruth's faith is in God's favor and opened up a whole new world for her. She went from poverty to supply, widowhood to marriage, and from being childless to having a complete family. She also became a respected member of the community. If Ruth, a Gentile who was under the old covenant, enjoyed God's favor, how much more will we who are under the new covenant of grace enjoy the blessings that the unmerited favor of God brings? In fact, because God sees us today, we enjoy the same favor that Jesus has. My friend, when we believe that we have the same favor that Jesus has, a whole new world will open up to us, a world where all of God's promises are always yes and amen in Christ. When you believe that the favor of God is on us because of Christ's finished work, His promises of provision, healing, and restoration become sure to us. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, It is God who enables us along with you to stand firm for Christ. He has commissioned us and has identified us as His own by placing the Holy Spirit in our hearts as the first installment that guarantees everything He has promised us. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty Wonderful God, God of mercy and compassion, We come to you not because of what we know today, but because you have chosen us to know the world's greatest and only truth. God, help us to continue to look for your provisioning and life, our lives in your holy presence. God, prepare us, lead us now and always to overcome the challenges of this folly world. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, we will talk to you tomorrow.